Hi, everybody. Kevin Raber from Photo PXL. It's nice to see your faces again, and uh, thanks for dropping by and watching uh, another Conversations With. And today I'm having a conversation with John Panazzo of Colorbyte Software. They make the software called ImagePrint. If you've been a follower of this site and follower of me for any length of time, you know that I swear by image print to make my print. And I also believe strongly, especially if you watched the last video on the introduction of the two new printers and uh, my discussion with Dano, I'm all about the print. For me, getting that print is what photography is all about. Having the proper tools to do that makes the job a heck of a lot easier, makes the production a lot easier. And of course, it makes printing a lot more fun. A number of years ago, um, and John and I go way back, uh, and he's been featured on several spots here. I can put the links in in the article for you. Um, we've talked a lot about image print as it's gone through its iterations over the years. And um, even after testing with uh, making own color profiles and doing it yourself, I always come back to image print because there's nobody, in my opinion, uh, makes better color profiles. And of course, those color profiles that uh, Colorbyte makes to work with their image print software, they do themselves. There's some trick, something in the sauce, whatever it might be, they've been very successful at it. But by using uh, the image print software on my systems, and I have a P800, or, uh, Epson uh, 9, 9000, or 9900, like, <laughs> we're losing my numbers at this point. And we've also got a Canon 1000, Pro 1000, and um, the, uh, the 2000. Uh, so on either the Canon printers or the Epson printers, you know, I can pretty much put my file in, uh, pick my uh, profile for paper and the lighting conditions I want to have it shown under, uh, lay it out in the software and bam, uh, it makes a great print. But image print does a whole lot more and this is what we're going to talk about. So John, first off, welcome. I'm sure you're in lockdown like everybody else and you're at least in a nice part of the country being what, Tampa, Florida, correct? Uh, yeah, we're, we're locked down here and uh, just outside of Tampa. And so you're staying warm and uh, you've been staying busy, even though, you know, we've all kind of had to close the doors and, and not visit customers and travel and so forth. Tell me a little bit about what's been going on. Well, we, we have been staying busy. Uh, obviously, a, a, a lot of uh, our market is uh, what we call serious amateurs. And, uh, and with more of those people at home during their lockup, um, we, of course, have, have been here to help them uh, through uh, their printing endeavors and, and getting upgraded. And they're spending more time uh, working on their photography and, and, uh, and printing. And so we're here to help those guys. Obviously, on the professional side, um, that has uh, dropped off significantly with the, uh, the lockdown. And then uh, we have just uh, using this time to, to finish up projects. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we released some new Canon drivers uh, that had our narrow gamut black and white technology. Uh, first time introduced to them, and that was really exciting. We'd been working on that for a long time. So we're getting caught up and we're starting some new projects as well. I think we are all finding, you know, in this lockdown side of things, um, it's giving us a chance to at least slow down and, and, and look at things that'll be uh, in a good position when we come out of this, um, if we ever do, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. Anything you can share with us on what you're working with? You know, I think it's kind of right now for us, it's business as usual. I don't think we're kind of panicking and switching, going in a different direction or anything like that. We're, um, we're continuing on uh, sort of a, a path that we started a few years ago with looking at, you know, how many ways uh, can we take an image and what can we do with it? What can our users do with that to make money um, with that image and how many ways they can use it? And we wanted to have a software package that in, in various ways of output um, gave our users that option. So for example, uh, we talked about our, our last visit, um, the cut it out option that we uh, introduced last year. Uh, and that, you know, was doing really well up until the, the lockdown. And, uh, and that's all about bringing photo finishing, cutting, um, bringing the ability to do shapes and really just take your imagination from a creative standpoint, print it, and then automatically be able to cut it out. Um, so 
taking a large format printer, whether you're you treating it like it's a its own mini lab or you're using it for brand marketing and and all sorts of prototyping and packaging it, it does all of that and that was really exciting uh venture for us to to do as an add-on to image print and uh, we have a couple more projects we're working on I, i've talked a little bit about them uh through email uh with you and one of them is to be able to bring uh the publishing of art to all of our user base so we're working on a, uh, uh, in conjunction with another company on a, a cloud-based system um, where uh, any of our users will be able to uh, basically publish their art, have it available for print for pay around the world and be compensated for it. Uh, it it'll be a protected uh, encrypted format and uh, we'll have a, a nice you know, way for them to join that and and share in uh, the distribution of their images for print to pay. Um, that's real exciting. Uh, something that, that really doesn't exist today. And again, it's gonna be something built into image print and people can choose to, to take advantage of it or not. It's gonna be there. Um, we're also looking at, uh, in working with Epson on some die sub solutions, um, we wanna be able to again, uh, Epson released a, a desktop die sub machine at the end of last year. Um, this machine is great. We, we see it as a, as a wonderful tool, tool for photographers to get into die sublimation, um, printing on Chromalux panels and, and whatnot. And we want to be able to bring that again under image print, have the ability to uh, drive that machine and, and another way to, for artists to uh, use dye sublimation um, in their printing process. You're expanding and, and going in new directions. And one of the things, of course, you didn't touch on was um, a project that you and I are going to be working on together. Um, and we were getting close to being able to do something with it this summer. And uh, that would be a fine art printing uh, workshops uh, here at the studio yep. uh, with uh, image print and, and cut Teaching it people how to do all these things, right? You know, well, I think, you know, one of the things that people you know, don't understand and, you know, uh, and it's very true for things like Photoshop and other things, you know, you kind of get into a routine and use certain tools, but then you don't realize all the tools that are really part of the software. Now, image print, for example, has the ability to do package printing and uh, all sorts of things, the animations that you can set crop lines there. There's a lot of uh, really cool production power, the you know, way it uh, uses page layout to fill the uh, a piece of paper and, and avoid paper waste. Uh, but now uh, with cut it out is, you know, you can make a sheet of paper or uh, however it comes off the printer and uh, the, the, this machine uh, cut out will uh, find out where it begins and cuts these prints out. So a lot of the labor intensive, and especially for those in the, this portrait and social market, which was portrait wedding and, you know, cutting out wallet pictures and five by sevens and eight by tens and, you know, was a pain in the neck. You had to cut them out with a paper cutter and, uh, you know, four cuts for each each piece of paper. And now it can be done automated. Um, and you can round the corners and do all sorts of other crazy stuff. It's pretty cool to see. Not to mention, you know, using it to um, make folders and, and, you know, special other things. It's kind of like having your own CNC machine. If anybody knows what a CNC yeah. machine is. Uh, yeah, we, we call it, uh, you know, it allows you to do your, your bread and butter photography uh, cutting, but then when you're not doing that, it allows you to market your business in some really unique ways. So our, our goal, these workshops that we will launch when we can have you into the studio and everybody feels like uh, they could travel is uh, small workshops of eight to 10 people. And uh, you not only will we talk a little bit about mastering the image and prepping the image prior to printing, but uh, how you actually can print it. Everybody will be able to print because we have enough printers in the studio. Uh, we'll actually show how you can actually set up a whole workflow with all these tools as well as the, uh, the software and uh, make sure that you come out with the finest prints possible and, and understand, you know, everything from paper to profiles to, uh, you know, the whole idea of packaging and so forth. It's going to be kind of fun and, you know, we're looking forward to doing it and we, we, can, we can do a bunch of these uh, as soon as uh, the doors open for us. So uh, John and I will be posting information about that, obviously, on uh, PhotoPXL and Rock Hopper workshops when the time comes. Um, but 
you know, this is a good time. And, and I'm sure, uh, as John said, uh, and can tell us a little more about it, a good time to be printing. I mean, we're locked into the, the house or the studio or wherever it is, and it, we can print. So, John, what are you seeing in that regards as far as what people are doing printing-wise and so forth? Uh, people who have printers at home, we're, we're seeing, they're using them. You know, we're, we're getting calls. We're getting, you know, calls from people who have been dormant for a few years, who have just been busy in the hustle and bustle of, of their daily work life. Now, you know, having the time to get back to printing, um, and with that, they're updating software. They're, they're, you know, talking about buying new printers. Um, uh, Epson, you know, has announced their smaller printers you and I talked about. And, and there's a lot of people excited about that. They're ready to update from their P800s and whatnot. And uh, so that's exciting times. And we have this summer to look forward uh, to all of that. We, we obviously are very anxious to, to get a hold of our first of those printers so that we can start working on them. And uh, uh, Epson tells us, you know, probably around uh, June sometime that'll happen. And uh, I, you know, there's, I think a lot of things to look forward to. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean, we, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do with the things that we've got. And we really encourage all the photographers out there to take some time, go through your files. Like, you know, I've been recataloging my files and making prints. So, you know, I've got, at home, when I'm working at home, I have a P600 here, so I can make smaller prints just to kind of evaluate what I'm doing and whether I'm heading in the right direction. And then uh, our whole studio building is locked down, so I can still enter in it if it's just me, but customers and uh, can't enter, and I don't want people working there. So mm -hmm. you know, you got to go in with a mask on, and sign in, and so forth. But I do go down there and spend a few hours making a few larger prints on, on some better paper or the ones that I like. Is your staff still working there or are you, are they working from home? Yeah, we're all, you know, we, uh, you, you haven't been in our office, but we're, we're pretty spread out. So we don't even really come in contact with each other. So we're all here working away in our own little spots. And, uh, obviously because of the size of the equipment that we work on, um, you know, there are some things we can do at home, but, uh, uh, you know, we can also be here and be safe and self, uh, you know, distance from one another, but get things done. What do you see as far as the future goes in regards to at least the, you know, the printing segment of the business? Um, you know, a lot of photographers have lost wedding gigs and contracts mm -hmm. and uh, the commercial photographers, you know, everything dried up for them also. I mean, being a photographer is pretty tough right now. Um, yeah. Have you given any thought to how you see this uh, coming out of? Uh, this well, it's, it's you know, it's, it's hard to know exactly where the demand is going to be. Um, so we're all just going to have to wait to, for that to play out. One, the, one of the things that, you know, we were talking about hairdressers, for example, none of us have had haircuts in a couple months. And, uh, you know, when, when they finally go back to work, they're going to, there's just going to be an onslaught of people that obviously they can't handle, you know, all at once. And, and it may be the same for some areas in photography too, where, everything comes back at once and there's no way to spread it out. And, and so you can only do so many gigs at a time and uh, we'll have to deal with those issues. And then we just have to see where other demand lies for us. Uh, the educational market's a, a big market for us, especially with cut it out. And, you know, we, we know that that market will probably be pretty strong when things rev back up. And so we're, we're doing things to prepare uh, some special, you know, features and things we've been wanting to do, you know, targeted at the K through 12 market. Um, and uh, we're just going to, like everybody else, going to have to wait and see, um, you know, where that demand uh, is coming from when we all get back to it. We're all in this together. I mean, this is a worldwide problem. And mm -hmm. everybody's facing the same challenges. Maybe all of us will come out of this, you know, in my, you know, optimistic kind of way of looking at things. Uh, in a more positive manner um, and not only value our lives a lot more, but work with each other, you know, to, to share more on a larger scale and a bigger scale. Uh, hopefully this has been a learning experience for us. Yeah. I think we've all had to slow down to some degree. We were talking about that and, and, you know, for a lot of people who, who maybe haven't even gotten into photography and printing uh, with this slowdown, you know, how many of those are out there who've decided now they're going to buy their first, you know, 
real professional level cam uh, camera and and maybe a, a printer to go along with that and and because it's been a lifelong dream and we certainly want to be there to help those people make it easier for them to to take that step forward into this I use image print on a daily basis on a number of my different machines and for all my four printers um, on, on both the Canon and the Epson side. It's so much easier, so much more reliable and so much more what I would call first print output uh, than you can experience in any other fashion. Um, so if you got a moment, take a look at not only the articles on our site, you could probably just throw in the word search and I'll put some links in the, uh, the text part of the, the article that goes with this. But uh, shoot on over to Colorbyte uh, Software. Uh, we'll put a link in for them. And there's a couple videos on their site that we've done together, especially showing the cut it out software, which uh, you actually got to see to believe. Um, prior to John bringing the machine to the, the studio for the videos that we did, I didn't quite understand how this would be done. I thought it was going to be like a laser or some big ass razor blade. And really, it's um, not even a knife. It's quite unique how it all works. We'll show you how it works in the videos. And, you know, as you're ramping back up your business and getting back into printing, uh, be sure you give, you know, Colorbyte and Image Print a look-see because uh, it will work for you. It's worked for me for many years. And, um, you know, John and his whole team is there to support you to, to get you through this. John, before I go, you have two products, black and red. You want to explain those real quick for anybody that's uh, uh, interested in those? Sure. Uh they both share a common interface. So as far as the workflow and the features, um, they're identical in that sense. Uh, the difference is um, black, which is, uh, you know, anybody who's familiar with, with image print uh, became image print black when we launched image print red. Um, that's our sort of flagship product where we do all the, the color profile libraries for black and white and color, all the papers, you know, made all over the world. Um, and, you know, that system's sort of all self-contained. It's got everything you need. And then RED, which is, uh, stands for Runs Every Device, and it sits on top of the, the OEM print driver. So it gives you all of our color engine and our workflow, um, but it's for people who don't print on a lot of papers. Um, they're happy with the profiles they have from the manufacturer or the paper companies, or they build their own profiles. So it, it gives you the perfect system of, all the high-end RIP features, um, but allows you at a reduced price because you're building your own profiles and you're handling that side of it on your own. Um, and that's really what separates the two products from each other. Good. Um, you know, both actually look the same and work the same except for a couple of those features there. So yep. um, very, very well worth looking into. Uh, I'm sure you can get all the information off the site and you can always ask those guys if you need it. Uh, John, anything more that you want to add before we close here? Uh, no, just, uh, you know, as we're all still in the lockdown, just everybody stay safe. Uh, there is going to be light at the end, end of the tunnel, we do believe. And, uh, you know, th it'll take a while to get back to normal. But I think there's a, a lot of great things to look forward to. And uh, we're working hard to bring some of those into, into our markets. Good. Well, I appreciate you taking a little bit of time today to do this with us. I uh, hope our readers uh, appreciate uh, some insight into a lot of different things in which we're trying to do uh, to my readers and to the viewers. So I want to say thank you for uh, being part of Photo PXL and uh, being part of the uh, video series that we're offering here. We've got quite a few more that will be coming in the near future. And it's kind of a cool new thing that we can do with uh, the Zoom uh, products. And uh, we're going to start putting multiple cameras in here and screen sharing in the future. So we're going to grow with this uh, as it goes. But uh, I want to thank everybody for the viewing. John, thank you again for being part thank of you, this. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.